this tutorial, we will learn how to create post effect in Adobe After Effects. We are not gonna use any plugins and you can do it very easily with the built-in effects. We'll be using this video clip for our main subject. In general, Ghost wear white or black dresses and here we have both. For the background, we'll use this jungle footage. First we need to separate the subject from the existing background. If you're thinking you can do it with the key light effect then you are wrong. Let's see what happens if we use the key light effect here. Since they are red in the skin and in the lips, so those areas will be removed as well. So this won't work here. But if we had a green screen or a blue one, then we could use the key light effect. Anyway, there are other ways we can separate the subject from the background. Select the Roto Brush tool and double click on the subject layer or on the comp area. It will open a new window. But before using the Roto Brush tool, make sure the resolution is set to full. Now start at the beginning, paint the subject with the Roto Brush tool. After Effects will automatically select the subject. If you need to subtract any areas, hold Alt or Option and the brush will turn into red. Now you can subtract any areas. You can also refine the hair with the Refine Edge tool. In this video, we are not gonna need it, but just to let you know there is this option. Now hit a spacebar. After Effects will try to select the subject. If you see some areas are not selected properly, then you can stop it by pressing the spacebar again and reselect it. Once it's done, click freeze. Now go back to our main comp. Here you can see our subject is separated. Now go to effects and presets and search for rough and edges. Apply it to the subject layer. Increase the border. It will give you a distorted look in the edge areas. Decrease the edge sharpness. This will give the edges a smoky or a mist look. Then decrease the scale for a particle type look. You should try different values. You may want a different style. The effect looks okay but they are static. I want them to move like a mist or a smoke. We can do that by changing the evolution. Go to the first frame and click the stopwatch icon in evolution. This will add a keyframe. Now go to the last frame and set it to something like 8 or 10. Now we can see those particles or smokes or whatever you say are moving. Next we need to introduce a blue tone to our subject. Most ghosts have a blueish color. I have some ghost friends and they are mostly blue. Check your ghost friends and see whether they are blue or red or green or any other color. Anyway, apply Lumetri color to the subject layer. Expand the color wheels. Change the midtones, shadows and highlights to give it a blue tone. Okay, this will do. Next I will add some noise. I guess ghosts have them. I gotta ask my ghost friends. Go to effects and presets and search for noise. Apply it to the subject layer. Around 30% noise will do. Also uncheck the use color noise. We're almost done but I think we're missing one important element. All ghosts must have some glow. Well, maybe not all of them but definitely the ones who live in the jungle. Press Ctrl or Command and D to duplicate the subject layer. You can use the glow effect but I will add the glow in a different way. Search Gaussian Blur and apply it to the copy layer. Let's rename it to Subject Blur. We can collapse the other effects so that we can see the newly applied effect clearly. Increase the blurriness to around 20% and set the blend mode to screen. This will give it a glowing effect. But I think it's a little too much. Press T for opacity and set it to 50%. Also I need to reduce the opacity for our main subject layer so that we can see the background a little bit. This will make the ghost somewhat transparent. Since we add the rough and edges, so at the bottom some areas are cut off. Maybe this is okay because they are ghost but still I wanna fix it. We just need to increase the scale. Select these two layers and press S for scale. Now increase it a bit to hide the bottom areas. Also I can place them in the center. We can add some Gaussian blur in the background as well. And there you have it. By the way, there is a limitation in this effect. You see only the edge areas have the rough and edge effect. Since there are two persons and one is behind the other girl, so this doesn't really work well in those areas. But if you have just one person, then this works perfectly. So this is how you can create a ghost effect in Adobe After Effects. Hope you like this video. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.